before talking about priority encoders let's consider an ordinary encoder so 4 by 2 ordinary encoder it will have four input lines and two output lines the inputs are like i0 i1 i2 and i3 and maybe there can be an enable and the outputs let's call them x0 x1 so in in an ordinary an encoder what happens only one of the input line lines can be active at a time and if we consider its active high so active means one so only one of them the inputs can be one at a time and that one will correspond that will the output will correspond to that line so this is line zero this is line one this is line two this is line three so whichever line is high only one can be high at a time the output will correspond to that uh, corresponding binary number so if i0 is high output will be 0 0 this is x1 x0 and i1 0 1 i2 1 0 and i3 1 1 like that now that's a that's an ordinary encoder in a priority encoder what happens more than one lines can be active at a time but each of the input lines has a priority over another one so the priority can be like uh, usually the priority is like this i3 has the highest priority it has a priority over all the other lines then i2 then i1 and then finally i0 so i0 is has the least priority and what it means is if all of these lines are 0 and only i0 is 1 then the output will be 0 0 that is on, if i0 is only active but if let's say more than one line is active then what will happen is the highest priority lines uh, corresponding binary number will be there so if let's say this is active this is also active and this is also active since this is has and let's say this is inactive this is zero so in that case the output will be one one because that's the uh, the highest priority is i2 and that corresponds to one one uh, one zero actually sorry i2 is one zero so if we write a truth table i3 i2 i1 i0 and this is x1 x0 and let's say f initially all these three are zero only this is one one has to be active at least otherwise it doesn't make sense so then the output will be zero zero now if this one is active let's consider that case and these two has to be inactive because otherwise th these will these are of higher priority these two so it doesn't matter whatever this is it has it will be don't care the output will be zero one similarly if this is active and this is zero that is inactive doesn't matter what these two are the output will be one zero and if this one is active the remaining all three remaining ones don't matter so these are one the output will be one now we can see that there are four inputs and in conventionally there should be four 16 conditions but we have only four cases because there are a lot of them are don't care for example we don't have zero 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 anyway because uh, that will be zero both outputs will be zero uh, the 0, 0, 0, 0001 is output is 0, 0. 0, 0, 0010 0 is output is 0, 01 and so 0 or 1 doesn't matter the output is always this one so in that um, similar fashion we have a lot of less uh, inputs so we have just four inputs and if we want to implement uh, this priority encoder using basic gets we can write try writing the uh, sum of product expression from this truth table and then we can implement that using basic gets so if we write for this is x1 sorry so if we write for x1 the output will be we will look at the ones here so i will use a different color now so the one there is one one here and one one here so if i look at i'm writing x1 first but that doesn't matter i could have written x0 first because x1 is the higher higher bit anyway so if i am writing this one when i look at in this one what i see is this has to be zero and this has to be one for that these two don't matter 
so the output uh, for this one for this one the sum of product expression will be i3 bar i2 i3 bar i2 this is one another one or this one which is the or expression in that case the only thing that matters is i3 is 1 if i3 is 1 remaining ones uh, don't matter so i3 so that will be the expression for i1 x1 sorry and for x0 we have two ones one is here one is here so if we look at this one we can see i3 bar i2 bar and i1 these through three had to has to be ended all of them have to be ended i3 i2 i1 i3 bar sorry i3 bar i2 bar i1 if, uh, if this is i1 if that happens then the output is 1 or the other condition of 1 is here which means again i3 or i3 so we can see that since these two are 0 this condition uh, doesn't arise anyway so these are the sum of product expressions and we can implement these two outputs using basic gates so we can actually we can we just need and gates or gates and uh, inverters so yeah that's how we can implement uh, and design a basically design a 4 over 2 priority encoder